Secretary General of the ITU, directors, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, warm greetings from the Kingdom of Swaziland. The World Telecommunications Development Conference provides not only a platform to express our views on emerging trends and on matters of strategic importance to the development of the Telecommunication Information and Communication uh, Technology Center and reflect on the development of the ICT sector in our respective countries, but also provides opportunity for member states of the ITU to shape the future of the industry to pave a better future for our respective citizens. The recognition of the information and communication technologies sector as a cross-cutting sector in the desired economic and social transformation agenda, particularly in pursuit of or to achieve the sustainable development goals is of crucial importance of, or by all of us attending this conference. This is more so for the developing economies currently faced with a myriad of challenges, particularly in the areas of basic education, health, agriculture, environmental sustainability, among others. And, I, and in their need of innovative, practical, and relevant solutions. In line with the theme of this conference, ICT for Sustainable Development Goals, ICTs provide an opportunity for member states to accelerate programs and interventions to address these challenges. The, oppor the opportunity presented by this conference to explore at a global level means and ways to address some of these challenges should be received with both hands. Mr. Chairman, Swaziland has made tremendous strides in the ICT sector guided by ITU agencies and other strategic partners, particularly in the development of key policy and legislative documents, as well as the implementation of developmental programs in the country. Specifically, the ITU has collaborated and supported the country in the following areas. The development of requisite policy legislative and regulatory framework for the ICT sector. Under the MACO slash ICT partnership, the country is a beneficiary of the Wireless Broadband Infrastructure Initiative for connecting rural schools and centers. Also, through the support of the ITU, the country has been able to develop the National Broadband Plan and Strategy. ITU has also played a leading role in the establishment of the telecommunications regulator which has since managed to transform the telecommunications sector in a competitive one and realigned it to conform to industry norms and practices. This has immediately resulted in the immediate decrease in communication costs due to the competition dynamics and an improved quality of services. The number of internet service providers has also increased by 90% and more Swazis are now connected to internet and enjoy the benefit of online services. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, in line with the understanding that ICTs are an enabler for economic and social development, the Kingdom of Swaziland has identified and prioritized key ICT development programs, activities and projects aimed at addressing pressing national issues, mainly in agriculture, health, e-government, environmental sustainability. These priorities aimed at transforming the country into a knowledge-based economy, including others and the following. That is, enable policy and legislative environment. With the dawn of the fourth industrial revolution, wherein data and information will be a new currency, it is fundamental that the country puts the necessary policies, programs, and resources in ensuring that the underlying infrastructure and systems are in place to support the data as a currency era. Improving security, trust, and confidence on the use of ICT services. 
the country has prioritized cybersecurity, starting with the enabling legislation and the development of the National Cybersecurity Strategy of 2017, innovation in ICT services and products to speed up realization of the SDGs. The government of Swaziland has set up and commissioned the Royal Science Technology Park to lead the delivery of this key initiative, including ICT skills, capacity building, and ICT set up incubation. Mr. Chairman, distinguished get delegates, I'm also happy to report that digital migration switch off in Swaziland was carried out smoothly on the 31st of December 2016. This was done through the effort of the ITU, who provided the scoping plan that mapped the entire project roadmap. This significant development makes available to mobile telecommunication services, which is the most widely used form of communication services in the country, the much needed spectrum, uh, frequency spectrum resources to achieve a wider reach and coverage of the services. Let me take this opportunity to thank the government of the people of the Republic of Argentina at last and also congratulate the national team of Argentina, which I was watching last night and it, was, it had a fascinating game. And congratulations to Argentina and also those who qualified for uh, the World Cup 2018 Russia. Thank you so very much.